Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today we're going over this blog post from the developers of Hyperlight Breaker. And if you don't know what Hyperlight Breaker is, it's a game coming out in early 2025 that will be a semi open world roguelike. Where you go into these areas called the Overgrowth, fight enemies, get loot, and in roguelike fashion, rinse, repeat, and grow stronger over time. All right, loadouts and a Hyperlight Breaker building a better, more optimal you. Your loadout isn't just about picking the right gear, it's about optimizing your playstyle for each cycle. Before you jump into the overgrowth, in this blog and in our next blog, we're sharing a couple of important systems you need to know. First up is loadouts. Quick update from us before you dive in, we're close to getting Hyperlight Breaker ready for launch in Steam Early Access. Stay tuned. In Hyperlight Breaker, your loadout isn't just about picking the right gear, it's about optimizing your playstyle for each cycle. As you progress, you will collect new weapons, equipment, and abilities that allow you to adapt and evolve your combat strategy. Whether you elect to charge into the fray with powerful melee attacks or pick off enemies at range. Breaker's loadout system allows you to experiment, find synergies, and tailor your approach to try and survive your journey into the overgrowth. What does it mean to build your loadout? Each cycle offers fresh opportunities to experiment with new combinations of gear. In one cycle, you might build a close range powerhouse focused on regenerating health while dealing massive melee damage. The next, you could shift to a more tactical ranged approach, blowing enemies down with a pack infused rail and picking them off from a distance. The possibilities are nearly endless as you explore and conquer new areas. You'll pick up weapons and equipment becoming more powerful with every upgrade. Plan to adapt and evolve your loadout meet each new challenge yeah i don't know why i was having a hard time with that one yeah, and they show off this image pretty cool uh the ui looks very nice gunslinger i believe is the like breaker class they're playing as uh which when a rail makes a critical hit the next shot will also be a critical hit and then we've seen this ability in the trailers they call them amps Activate to summon a giant cube, crushing everything under it, dealing 60 to 200 damage. Yeah, just a bunch of cool stuff like that. Equipment types. Your loadout is made up of several key e gear types, Ugh. each offering different ways to enhance your character's abilities and playstyle, from your primary melee weapons to powerful support systems. Each piece is a... a, a, a each piece of equipment can influence your combat strategy in significant ways. The loop of acquiring, upgrading, and experimenting with gear is one of the key aspects of the loadout system. The gear you equipped will directly influence how you play, so choosing the right gear based on your desired playstyle is crucial. Psycoms, buffs, and stat customization. Psycoms are unique each breaker and serve as the foundation of your build. These provide specific buffs and stat modifications as you progress through the game. You can upgrade Psycoms to and unlock new ones at the outpost. Aided by PB, Psycom upgrades give you more control over your character's strengths and weaknesses and set the overall tone for how you approach combat. Blades. Blades are your primary melee weapons in Hyper Light Breaker. Each blade comes with a unique passive and active abilities that allow you to approach battles in different ways. Higher tier blades come with additional modifiers increasing their damage or utility. Choosing the right blade is crucial depending on your combat strategy, and below are just some of the blades you can have. Force Hammer, dealing heavy damage to tough enemies thanks to its inherent damage boost against heavy targets. Uh, dual Claws, perfect for clearing out swarms of enemies offering fast and wide attacks that let you control swarms. And the Heavy Axe, charge up a powerful wave of energy and unleash it across the battlefield to cut down groups of enemies from a distance. The variety of blades means that you can adapt your melee combat style to fit any situation, whether you're taking on massive bosses or mowing down groups of smaller enemies. Rails. Rails serve as your secondary weapons, allowing you to engage enemies at range. These weapons rely on ammo, drops from fallen enemies, so managing your resources is key to making most of them. And there's my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Equipping rail themed hollow bites, you can further enhance their effectiveness. These are some of the rails that will come in handy. The diamond shot, this weapon rewards precision to maximize its damage. 
Maintain the perfect distance from your enemies to ensure the spread of bullets converges into a diamond-shaped pattern for optimal damage. Grid 42R, a powerful charge shot that lets you attack from a distance, keeping enemies at bay while you control the flow of combat. Rails add another layer of tactical flexibility, allowing you to focus on ranged combat while you manage the battlefield from a distance. Amps. Amps are your ter Yeah, I can't say that word. <laughs> uh, weapons charged up as you defeat enemies. They offer powerful activated abilities that can change the way you approach combat. Each amp has a short window of activation, so timing is everything. Amps add a layer of depth to the game and giving you potent abilities that can either heal, deal massive damage, or offer tactical advantages when used correctly. So, yeah, as uh, showcased here, here are just a couple of the examples of amps. Berserker Exoskeleton, activate this amp when you're surrounded and need to stay alive for a short period. Every hit you land replenishes lost health, letting you power through tough situations. And then, like I said, the amps are what like the block was we've seen in the trailer. Crush Block, a devastating amp that allows you to drop a massive amount of damage on a single enemy, such as a rifle elite, all while staying safely behind cover. Choosing the right amp for the moment can churn the tide of battle, whether you need to heal or unleash a devastating counterattack. Blade Specials. Blade Specials are another form of activated abilities that allow you to make special powerful melee attacks to help churn the tide of battle. Armor. Armor provides you with protection to help you resist more damage. However, heavier armor comes with the trade-off of reduced mobility, making you less making you less nimble and slowing you down your dashes and dodges. Finding the right balance between offense and defense is key here, and you'll need to tailor your armor to the specific challenge at hand. So yeah, it just shows off hollow bites and stuff. This one gives an extra stamina, like, yeah, as it says, extra stamina pip, which I'm assuming is just like an extra bit of stamina. Hollow bites and affixes. Holobytes are modifiers that can be slotted into your loadout to change your stats or grant new abilities. These powerful tools are essential for crafting a truly unique build. They come with a permanent effect. Once a holobyte is swapped out, it's destroyed. You'll have five slots for holobytes, so every choice counts. Holobytes can synergize with your other gear, enhancing your damage, defense, or even offering new special abilities. Whether you're stacking damage modifiers or improving your survivability, holobytes are provide a crucial layer of customization that lets you fine-tune your loadout. Fixes are modifiers that can be added to every piece of equipment that provide further nuance and let you go even deeper on build customization. And how you're going to acquire this gear is as you explore the world of Hyper Light Breaker, you'll encounter a variety of ways to acquire new gear and upgrade your loadout. The overgrowth, as you explore this world, you'll You'll find fallen enemies, chests, and the corpses of, past, corpses of past warriors, all of which can provide new gear and upgrades. Looting these items is essential for building your loadout. The Outpost. Here you can spend bright blood and other materials to purchase new gear from various vendors. As your affinity with these vendors grow, you'll unlock new items and upgrades eventually. They'll be able to help you upgrade your existing equipment, making it even more powerful. Stats and rarity. Gear in Hyper Light Breaker is color coded by rarity. So, a good example of this is like Fortnite or uh, what was another? Like, Destiny also has color coded rarity. Uh, so, it's like gray is common, green is uncommon, blue is rare, purple is epic, you know, but it's slightly different in Hyper Light Breaker. Uh, uh, with higher level items offering better stats and additional modifiers. As you progress through, progress through the game, you'll encounter a range of rarities from basic common items to the ultra rare hyper light red gear. Rarity items are color coded from white common to hyper light red legendary. The rarer the item, the more powerful it will be and the more modifi modifiers it will offer. That's Stats. Each piece of equipment has specific stats like damage, health boosts, or passive abilities. These stats will play a big role in determining how effective a piece of gear is, and you'll want to look for gear that complements your overall build. 
the evolution of the loadout system. The loadout system in Hyper Light Breaker has evolved significantly over time. What started as a basic system with blades and rails has grown into a full-fledged customization experience. With the introduction of holobytes, amps, and fixes, add, adding more layers of nuance. With each new addition, the loadout system became more robust, providing more avenues for player expression and unique builds. Yeah, the the being able to like go really hard with the builds, I think, is going to be super fun, and I'm probably gonna maybe look into doing build videos once this game comes out because i feel like that would be really fun just to do a bunch of videos on different builds and stuff can you equip any gear with any breaker absolutely our team felt it was important for players to have full agency to craft the exact build you feel best represents your preferred playstyle. so there are no restrictions on which gear you can equip with each breaker each player character has unique stats that affect how different gear performs but the flexibility of the loadout system means you can mix and match gear however you like. You're free to build anything from the indomitable god to something sub to something a sub-optimized goof. <laughs> your loadout is more than just a collection of gear. It's your chance to express yourself through the tools and abilities you choose. With so many options of customization, the possibilities are endless and the choice is yours. How would you build your perfect loadout? And that is the blog post. Honestly, I'm super hyped. This building the loadout and everything sounds really fun. Like I said, I'm probably going to um, try out uh, like build videos and stuff. Like, I think that'd be really fun messing around with different builds and stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you want more of that content, uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one, guys. Peace.